Hi you guys! Welcome to our California farm. Today we have an exciting and educational video for you, Science on the Farm. And this video will be great for kids age 5 to 15. So, tell me, what is this? And if you said potato, you're correct, but only 50%, because today this is going to be a battery. We are going to power a clock with the help of a potato, or well, actually two potatoes. So for this experiment, you will need two potatoes and a small digital clock kit that you can buy online for just about $8. And I'll put the link to the kit in the description of the video. Now, before we start our experiment, go ring a bell and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the future videos. Let me show you the contents of this little experiment kit. You'll have your instructions, a small digital clock, and all the connecting pieces that you need, wires and zinc and copper pieces. Well, actually this experiment is good for two different tests. You can power the clock, or you can power a LED light. So we'll do two experiments today. So this is our experiment kit ready to go. Two potatoes, three wires, two copper pieces, two zinc pieces, and the clock. First, you will need to connect the wires to copper and zinc pieces. You don't need glue or any tools to do that. You just simply slide into the um, connecting parts. Just like that. Now let's connect the potatoes with the wire. We'll put one metal piece into one potato and then the connecting metal piece into the second potato, like this. Now let's attach the wires that will be connecting potatoes to the clock. We'll do it exactly the same way. We will insert the metal pieces into the potatoes. So basically, there will be two wires sticking out of each potato. It is important that each potato is connected with one copper and one zinc metal part, like this. Now we'll be connecting the clock to the wires. But first, we need to take off the protective layer on the wire. Yes. And this is just a clipper. We'll connect the wire to the clipper. And the same on the other side. Now let's check out the clock. It's working. The only thing we'll have to do now is to put the correct time in. And there you go, you've got a potato clock. Before we do the second part of the experiment with the light bulbs, I want to give you a task. Go around the house, find other vegetables and fruit, and test them in this arrangement. Which other fruits and vegetables can actually work the same as potatoes? B, as a battery, so transmit electricity. And then write in the comments below what you found out 
what can transmit electricity and what can't. And now let's do the bulbs. So we have our potato clock working perfectly. Now we're going to disconnect the clock and try to connect one LED bulb and see what happens. It's the same principle. You just have two clippers to connect to the bulb. Okay, let's see what's the result. It's not working. So, I'm guessing, and my hypothesis is that two potatoes is not enough to power the bulb. Let's find out how many potatoes we need to make this bulb shine brightly. Okay, here we got three potatoes. Let's make three potato arrangement. We're still working with the same principle. One copper and one zinc connector needs to go in each potato. I love this experiment because it's low tech, but shows you the one of the most important principle in physics, conductivity. Okay, this is the moment of truth. We're attaching three potatoes. Let's see, does the light work? No, it doesn't. Well, it's either the potato is too small or we need another potato. Let's have a look. So we have four potatoes lined up now. Let's see the moment of truth. Ta-da! Bingo! We have a flashing, changing color LED bulb. So it turns out we need four potatoes to charge a LED battery. Oh, sorry, a LED light, even a small one, but only two potatoes to charge a clock. So this is a great experiment, actually two experiments that you can do easily with kids. And we can do it with different fruits and veggies, as I told you, and also liquids. This is a hint for you to try something at home and let me know in the comments to the video what you found out. Good luck. So, how does potato clock work? Well, acids in the potato cause a reaction between two metal parts made of different type of metal, zinc and copper in our case. So, this reaction causes the electrons to flow from one electrode to the other. And that creates a current that powers either a clock or the light. So this is a really great experiment to show kids the most important principles of physics. And um, this interesting kit comes in this little bag. There is no other packaging. And that's why it's very inexpensive. Now, if you want to give it as a gift to someone, there is also uh, a little bit of a fancy packaged kit. I also put the description, sorry, the link to that kit uh, in the description of the video. And you can choose which one you want to buy. But please know that the kit in the box that is good for gifting actually doesn't have the LED light experiment. Only this cheaper one has the second experiment in it. But it's up to you uh, which one you need. There are two links in the description. You can choose. Well, thank you for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and ring a bell so that you don't miss any future content. Thank you, guys. Bye.